G'day and welcome to another video. In today's lesson we'll make this really cute popcorn flower granny square. I really hope you enjoy this video. There is a free written pattern located on my website and I will put the link that you need in the description box. This can be found under the video. I would like to say thank you to redheart.com for providing me with the yarn for this project. Redheart.com is a great place to buy yummy yummy yarn. You could buy all the colours used in this project on there and also a lot more. So let's get started on the lesson. For our supplies we're going to need some yarn. I will be using worsted weight which is equivalent to a 10 ply or an Aran. This can also be used with DK or 8 ply. I will be using Red Heart Super Saver. This is just using up some scraps that I have. So it's a great project to use up small amounts. You're also going to need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle with a large eye and a crochet hook to go with your yarn. I will be using a 5.5mm, this is also a eye size crochet hook. I would like to say thank you to Red Heart for supplying the yarn used in this video. If you'd like to purchase this yarn you can get it on redheart.com. This is blue, turquoise and shocking pink. So you're going to start with the colour that you want in the middle, so we can put those ones aside. And we're going to start with a magic ring. You could also chain five and join with a slip stitch, but I will be using a magic ring for this project. And what we want to do is we need 16 stitches into the middle of the ring. So our chain three counts as our first stitch and we want to work 15 double crochet into the middle. So yarning over, going into the middle of the ring and working our double crochet. I'm going to assume that you know how to do a double crochet. So keep going until you have 15 double crochet and a chain three which will count as 16 stitches. We have our 16 stitches. We will join to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch. And then we're going to finish off with this colour. So I'm going to leave about two to three inches to sew in. Finish that off and also we can pull tight on the back there and we can sew that in later on. I'm just going to grab my yarn needle and I'm going to sew in where we finished off. And we're going to join the yarn in between any of the double crochets of the previous round. So grabbing our crochet hook and when it says in between any of the do double crochets so normally if it doesn't tell you would join up to the top of the stitch like that. But this one we're going to grab two stitches pull them apart and the hole that's here that's where we're going to join in our yarn. So I'm just Looped it over the top, pull through. And I'm just going to do a chain to secure. And it says chain three and four double crochet in the same stitch. So into that space between, I'm going to work four double crochet. So altogether we have five stitches and to make our popcorn stitch 
we take our crochet hook out of the stitch we just worked and we go back to the first one and on all the other ones this will actually be a double crochet but on this one it's a chain three so we go to the top of the chain three make sure we're going in the right spot we're going to put the loop back on our crochet hook and we're going to pull it through and then we're just going to pull this yarn snug so that it closes up at the back and it creates a popcorn stitch. We're going to chain two and you don't want to work them very tight as you can see there they're not very tight and now we're going to popcorn into the same space so in the same space we just worked all of our stitches we're going to work five double crochet One, two, three, four, five. Back to the first double crochet that we just did there of the five. I'm going to put our crochet hook through the two loops, grab our loop, and then pull it back on, uh, back through. Sorry. Just pull that snug. We're going to skip a space, and we're going to popcorn, chain two, and popcorn into the next one. So looking back down here, we have. We just worked into there. The next space is here going to skip that one and then go into the next one so you'll have two double crochets there and in the next space that's where we're working into so going in there work five double crochet Go back to the first of the five, grab your loop and then pull through. We're going to chain two. Remember don't do it too tight. And into the same space here that we just worked these stitches into, we're going to put five double crochet because we need to do our second popcorn. One, two, three, four, five. Go to the first stitch, put our loop on, pull three, and then just pull snug. And that's the repeat that we're going to do. So we're going to skip a space. So you've got here, you've got a double crochet, then a space. Skip that one, and we're going to go into the next one. So we're going to skip another double crochet and then the space here and our repeat is is that so it's skip a space and into the next space do a popcorn a chain two and a popcorn and I'll show you one more time that's five double crochet my little yarn ball here wants to get in the video one two three four five through oops I don't think I've gone through both loops there we go so chain two and remember don't do them too tight and then into that same space we're going to work five double crochet and create our popcorn stitch and we're going to <laughs> get out Wait. we're going to repeat this all the way around I don't know why but that just made me laugh so we're going to repeat this all the way around and we will have eight sets of the popcorn stitches so there's one two three four five six seven and eight so all together you would have 16
individual popcorns. So repeat around and I'll meet you when we are ready to join. So I am ready to join and it may, well it will sort of go all weird, but it will actually lay flat as well. So when we're finished we're going to join to the top of the chain three from the beginning and we're going to finish off our yarn. And look how much yarn I have left. That was it. That was good working with my scraps. I thought that was really cool. So we can finish that off and that was go into the scrap spin. And now we're ready to join in our new colour and we're going to complete the granny section of this project. Now I think if you could get that to lay flat, that would make a really pretty flower. So I'm just going to go with the darker blue because if I use the cream with this background you're not really going to see it. So we can join yarn into any chain two space. So pick a chain two space that you like the look of and we're going to join in our yarn. So the chain two space is where we've got our two groups of popcorn. It's anywhere in there. So just looping that over the top. And I'm going to do a chain two secure. And it's telling us to do a chain three and two double crochet in the same space. So we've got our shell, so this is part of the granny stitch round. And because we're in our chain two space, we've got plenty of room and we're going to place our corner. So we're going to chain two and work three double crochet back down into the chain two space. And that is the corner of our granny square. For the next part of the granny square, we're going to skip the space that's in between the popcorns and we only work into the chain two space of this round. So all of our chain two spaces will be worked into and any sort of space that's in between those, which really isn't much of a space at all, we're not gonna work into that at all. So into the next chain two space, we're going to work three double crochet. into the next chain two space, which is over here, we're going to work another corner. So it's three double crochet. Oops, I've done that really loose, hang on. Three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. And it's all into the same chain two space. Into the next chain two space, we're going to work three double crochet. And you can see that we've already started two of our corners there. And into the next chain two space, so over here, so we're ignoring the space there, chain two space, we're going to work another corner. We're going to repeat this around. So this is a corner. The next chain two space will just be three double crochets by itself. So it's a chain two between our two groups is three. Skip the space that's not really a space and go to the chain two space and work three double crochet. So just um, complete that around uh, the next chain two space you're going to have your corner so it's three two three and then the next chain two space you'll just have three double crochets by themselves so pause the video and i'll meet you when we're ready to join so when we are ready to join i just need to put one more double crochet in there we're going to join to the top of the chain three And this is the end of our granny square. Now if you want to make it bigger, 
what you do. So this is all the pattern will tell you. So I won't tell you how to make it bigger, but I can show you if you don't know how. You, if you want to continue with the same colour, you slip stitch across to the chain 2 space. If you want to start a new colour, you would finish off this yarn and join your new colour into your chain 2 space. So I'm just going to keep the same colour. I'm going to slip stitch across. And we just went into the top of the double crochets. And we also want to slip stitch into the chain 2 space. We're going to chain up 3 and work 2 double crochet in the same space. Chain 2 and then three double crochet in the same chain two space. So our first corner. And now we have two spaces that are here. I just need to grab my yarn, it's escaped on me. It's not in the bowl where it should be. So into the space, you're going to work three double crochet. And into the next space you're going to work three double crochet. Into the corner, which is over here, we will work what we did for the corner on the previous round. So it's three double crochet. Chain two and three double crochet. The lighting in here isn't the best today because it's miserable outside. I don't know if that's any better. Just adjusting my lights. So now we are back to the straight side and you have the two spaces and this is where we do our three double crochet. And then you would do a corner over here, you would do three double crochet into those ones, a corner down there, and then three double crochet into these ones, and then you would join to the chain three like we did on the previous round. And you would do that for every single round. But this pattern is only for, let's pull that back out, it's only for the, that one round, so I'm going to cut that off. Put the yarn through the loop. And there we have our granny square. I think that is really, really pretty. Great for using up scraps, especially the centre and the flower section or the popcorn section. And you could use just the base colour for your granny square. You could use that one colour throughout your pattern and it will make your flowers pop out really well. So please share your creations on our Facebook page. I'd love to see what you've been up to and also the colour combinations that you've been using. Please subscribe as we have plenty of videos here on Bob Wilson 123. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy crochet.